How is everybody doing? This is AKA OnStar, and I'd like to welcome you to the first episode of my Battle Mag series. In this episode, we're going to be doing the basic kit loadouts um, and rules, I should say, of the Battle Mag project. So if you want to, you know, play along, try it out, toss any ideas this way, you have an idea of what I'm working with. I've got four different sections per PMC. I've got an assault tree, I've got a support tree, I've got a sniper tree, and then I've got a general which covers the uh, the shotgun, the pistol, the machine pistol, you know, basic stuff like that. And then once I get all three PMCs covered, I'll have a end page which shows the the two sites you can use for each for each uh, faction, and then what camo you use. So it's you know just a basic end page. And let's kick it off with Valor. They're a U.S. based uh, PMC or private military contractor. Um, that operates mainly in Alaska, so it's a lot of wooded wilderness, uh, mountains, snow, um, very outdoorsy. You know, their color scheme is and weapon loadouts. It's all classic U.S. military feel. In the assault tree, the tier one weapon, you can use either the M16A3 or the M4A1. I don't have the M4 listed here, but it's a it's it's one of the ones you can swap out. The tier two copy straight over to the scar l straight copy nothing to mess around with there the tier three is another straight copy fortunately and copies over is the acwr a very stable platform and then the tier four copies over is the scar h now i didn't do the i didn't organize these in you know power levels you know so they get stronger as the tier goes higher um i did it by either straight copy, you know, if the gun exists in mag and it exists in battlefield, boom, there we go. Or visual. So there's going to be some power discrepancies in levels sometimes. You know, they're fairly easy to resolve. Moving on to the support tree. It's going to be uh, the machine guns and whatnot. Tier 1 is the M249. Very good starting. Very dominant, just like it was in mag. The tier 2 is the M60E4. Very good for emplacements and whatnot. Uh, tier 3 is the M240 Bravo, which is actually one of my favorite LMGs to run around round with. Wow, wow. Listen to me, I'm hunting wabbits. Um, but it's a good LMG. It's a very mobile LMG, despite its very bulky nature. For the snipers, there, there are four snipers for Valor and Mag, but only three of them copied over. The Tier 1, which is the M39. The Tier 2, which is the L96. The Tier 3, which is the JNG-90. Very good sniper. And then on to the Generals, we have the Shotgun, which is the 870 MCS. We have the SMG, which is the M5K. Now, you could use the G53 in the Engineer Kit as well. Um, I don't have it listed here, but I wanted the SMG to be an all-kit weapon. Now, the pistol is straight copy, M9. You can use basic, you can use silenced, or suppressed, quote-unquote. I really don't like using the tactical version in this project because there wasn't a flashlight attachment. There was no tactical light at attachment in MAG. And then the tactical pistol is the Hollis MP for in MAG, which doesn't copy over to Battlefield, so I had to go digging around, and I've... I chose the PP2000 because it, it fits the same feel of the gun. And, it, you know, it works pretty well. Now, moving on to Sever. Sever is a Russian PMC. They mainly do a lot of fighting out in Europe. They, they have a lot of browns and oranges in their color scheme. They're very much a guerrilla fighter group. So everything is held together with duct tape and electrical tape and it's all dirty and rusty so it kind of gives you the idea of what what they look like for their assault tree it starts off with t uh, the tier one as the aks 74u um another good starting weapon the tier two is the an 94 another straight copy the tier three didn't have a straight copy uh in mag it's the tamsin mark ii which is a korean Assault rifle based off of like the M16 platform, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. The closest thing I could find to it visually was the AEK, which, you know, helps because the AEK is one of the really dominant weapons right now. 
And then we have the Tier 4, which is the AK-74M. And so we go from the AK down to the AK, and it's a little bit of a power drop, but hey, you know, whatever floats your boat, you can use whatever gun you want. Moving on to the support tree, we have the RPK-74M at Tier 1. Very good weapon to start off with. Tier 2 is the PKP Peshin Egg. Very, very fun weapon. And then the Tier 3 is another one that didn't have a straight copy. And the closest thing I could get was the Type 88. However, with the Sniper Tree, which is right now, all four of the sniper rifles got a straight copy, which is nice. Or at least a visual copy. Uh, Tier 1 is the SVD. Tier 2 is the SV-98. Tier 3 didn't have a straight copy, and the visual I picked for it was the M40A5. Now, I know people are going, but that's a U.S. weapon. I went for visuals, not, you know, factions or whatnot. And then the Tier 4 is another visual match. It's the QBU-88. Moving on to the general, uh, Severs, the shotgun... There wasn't another direct match for the Sever shotgun, and so I picked the Spaz-12 because it's a pump action, a really a decent one. If you want something that seems feels a little closer to the Sever shotgun, but you don't mind using a semi-auto, you can use the Saga-12, okay? It, it feels a little more similar. Um, the SMG, uh, the infamous Vipera 2 from MAG, is none other than the PP-19, one of my favorite guns. I, I love this one. Then the pistol is a straight copy with the MP443. You can use, again, either the basic or the suppressed. And then the tactical pistol. This is another another one of the tactical pistols that doesn't have a, a straight copy. They're supposed to be using the Curtis 45 ACP, otherwise known as the Vector, you know, for Modern Warfare 2. The closest thing I could find was the PDWR. So, if, you know, if you have any ideas of what I could replace that with, let me know. I'll update it. Moving on to Raven. They are a European PMC. Very high-tech, very sleek, and very goth. All you see is black. Black and maybe like a really, really dark blue or something, or dark gray or something like that. Their assault tree is one of the best in the project. Uh, tier 1 is the AUG A3. Very good gun, especially with the Aftermath expansion. Tier 2 is the F2K, another very heavy assault rifle. The Tier 3 didn't have a straight copy, but visually actually matched the M416, which just reinforces Raven's assault rifle dominance. And then the Tier 4 assault rifle is actually the Engineer's SG553, which, while it doesn't become one of those Flavor of the Month guns, it is still a very dependable, very solid gun. Now, on the machine guns, this tr this whole tree gave me trouble. The Tier 1, I wound up picking the M27 IAR because it just... The Apex 100 in MAG doesn't have a copy, and the 20, M27 IAR with extended mags is the closest thing I can get to it. Tier 2, again, another no copy, but almost a, a probably 75% visual match for the LSAT, which is fine with me because it's a really fun gun, very mobile if you play it right. And then Tier 3, again, another one that really doesn't have a, vi a good copy. Um, best I could come up with is the MG36. So, you know, any help, any ideas, any tips, you know, would definitely be appreciated. Um, the Snipers. There are three out of the four that managed to copy for Raven. Uh, the Tier 1 crosses over to be the Mark 11 Mod O. We have the Tier 2, which comes out best visual match as the M417. And then we have the Tier 3, which comes out as the M98B. Very, you know, iconic rifle and best matched in the Raven Sniper Tree. For General, the... Shotgun is the M1014, or 1014, however you want to pronounce it. The, the SMG is the P90. It's actually what caused me to start this project. I had some nostalgia running around with that, as a, with a certain config. The pistol. There is no copy for the F57 in MAG. 
and so you can use it's pretty much the closest thing I could find was either the G17C or the G18. You can use either of those pistols with either base or suppressed. So you actually have four cho choices of pistols in this one. For a tactical pistol that actually crosses over and matches, the Raven tactical pistol is none other than the MP7. So it's a very good weapon to use. Now, that's all of the weapon translations right now. Up here on the screen, there should be six boxes, two of each color. This is going to be for the scopes that you're allowed to use for each faction. You know, just match up the color for each faction. First up is Valor. You get to use, for your base scope, that is if you don't want to use iron sights, you can use the holographic, and then as your quote-unquote 4X uh, medium range scope, you can use the ACOG. For Sever, your close range scope is the Cobra, and your medium range is going to be the M145. Now, I know it's a 3.4 and not a 4X. It's pretty much a dead visual match for the Max uh, medium scope. And then Raven, your base scope is the reflex scope. And then your range scope is the PKA. Now, again, it's a 3.4 instead of a 4X, but it's a dead visual match. Now, for camo... Valor, you will be using Army Green. Sever, I picked the Desert Khaki. And then Raven is just dead simple. Spec Ops Black. End of story. So, you know, this is the project. Here's, you know, this is the translation for everything. Let me know how, you know, how you guys like it. Drop me a line. Let me know if you want to, you know, get some... You know, PMC on PMC action, you know, see if we can get a group together on PS3 to you know, try to run some Valor versus Sever or Sever versus Raven or whatnot, and you know, have all of us stick to these rules and see what actually happens. It'd be a lot of fun. And also, if you come up with any ideas for map alignment, for, you know, what maps are what PMC, um, I've had a couple of ideas. I welcome more ideas, so, you know, Drop me a line. I've got my emails listed. I've got um, my Twitter, and I've got you know Yahoo or not Yahoo YouTube uh, that I look at. So you know, drop me a line. Say hi. You know, give me feedback. I welcome it. As always, this is AKA OnStar, and I hope you had fun.